him woman or else who shall take his place in there hmm. my sword it is me baby My son, it is me. Okay, ma. Agwaza. 
Dijoko! Gods of my fathers! Let him go well. Ayo! Yo, go, go, yo, yo, yo! Ayo! Yeah! from the automarket yet? No, sir. Not yet? Yes, sir. All right, if she comes back, tell her to prepare a raw soup. Uh, uh, let her put some stock fish in it. I'll be coming home with some personalities. Okay, sir. Yes. Uh, no, 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 don't bother. I have ordered for a very special palm wine. When the man comes, put the palm wine in the refrigerator. Okay, sir. You don't forget to tell her that I called if she comes back. Okay. Thank you. from the car, hmm? Alright. Mm. Come on, darling. I miss you, baby girl. Mommy needs you. Maybe you not just chop out this one, clean out, You hear? Just back pass some to voice water from you. Which one can be your own self? Not only back pass. Throw in ego. This one will go get self. Now one can kind of eye take the look you. Make you cool down. Charity! Ma? Did Kirechi eat something before sleeping? Yes, ma. Okay. Madam, I got a telephone. Oh, darling, what did he say? He said, make you prepare that Torah soup this week. Saying we'll come back with one important person. Important. I guess what I could be. 
Right. Um, go start preparing the vegetables, huh? Yes, ma'am. I'll be right down to start with the meal again. Some silk was not properly removed the last time she had an operation. That apart, Mr. Freeman, your wife was two months pregnant. I am aware of that. Well, I don't mean to abortion blames right now. But you see, since that first baby, I... How old is your first baby now? Nine months. We had her after 15 years of marriage. I understand. But you see, Mr. Iluba, since the first baby was delivered through cesarean operation, you should have given your wife at least two years to allow the womb contract well enough for another child. Uh, you can't always arrange this thing to talk. Um, but it's all in the past now. Where is she? I want to see. Come with me. We tried everything we could, but she died 10 minutes after she was brought in.
It's all right. Can I help you? I am from Chief Udemba. Yes, what does the chief want? To see if the deal has go through this time. Now listen to me. Tell your chief to give me a break. What, sir? Huh? I told you that whenever the deal goes through, I will send for him. He should stop sending people to bother my life. But, sir, it's seven weeks. Young man, no. I don't do business with own darlings. I beg your pardon. You help me. We have to see another doctor. Another specialist who deals mostly with cases like like ours. Oh, come on, Richard. We're not a case. Couldn't say that. I mean, what do you mean, cases like ours? Look. Richard. Richard, come on. Look, we're not a case. We're just two normal human beings to start a baby, and there's nothing unusual about that. Nothing. Consider. So what is it, Richard? Alfred. I've heard so much about Dr. Ozems. I think we should give him a try. No. Listen, Rachel. I'm tired of having our love lives examined under the microscope by all sorts of characters in the name of tests. I am also tired of having my temperature taken every morning to see if I'm ovulating. Oh, Fred. What can we do? What can we do? We can't afford to end up not having children. Not having a family. Rachel, we keep trying. I believe that God's time is the best. We can't give up now. We keep trying. I mean it. Come on, Rachel. We can't give up now. East a 
and west. In search of a child. Hey! For over ten years! For over ten years! For over ten years! Now! Because when you live here, you have as many children as you want. <laughs> And then my dear wife was subjected to 14 days of dry fast that almost killed her. At the end of which, after three years, no child came. I've heard you. I've heard you. So you came all that distance just to tell me to go and remarry, right? Fred, I want you to think properly about what I said. After 14 years of childlessness, you're supposed to know that. Uh, that, that what? That what? Go say it, say it, say it. That what? That your wife is barren and can never have a child for you. Fred, my brother, this is the time. Yes. You have now become God that gives children. Isikaku has become God that gives children. Leave my house. I said, leave my house. I said, leave my house. Fred. Now, leave my house. Fred, people are laughing at you. Leave my house. You see, God. Now! You have a solution to all my problems. I can ever forget her, let alone marry again. No, 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 friend. Rachel is a big blow, we all know. But you cannot continue to mourn her death forever. It is three years now since her divorce. Look, Fred, you have to remarry. To remarry? Gabe, to who? Who can ever be like Rachel again to me, Gabe? Hello. Brother, one Mr. Vicky is on the line, said he wants to speak with you. Look, tell him to call me again later in the evening. I'm very busy. Okay. Fred, I, I didn't know you had a sister like this. Mm, well, she's not my sister. She's my wife's younger sister. Uh, she's been taking care of Kelechi since her mother died, until my sister came to take uh, Kelechi to London. She looks very much like her sister, Rachel, your wife. Mm. Mm. She does.
sent you to kill me. Silence, sir. Sorry, sir. Please forgive me, sir. It is Mr. Sule. Don't kill me, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. I can't help the feeling that you remind me so very much of your sister. There you go again. Don't really stop comparing me with my late sister. You know, Johnny, you've been so wonderful to me that you know, sometimes I ask myself what I would have been without you. Honestly. I thank that my shoulders were convenient enough for you to cry. This past three years for me, I've been hurt. I thought my entire life had come to an end with the death of your sister. But tell Jimmy. You make me want to live again. You've introduced such a spark into my life that I don't know why. I, I love you, Jenny. I love you. Amos. You have heard what your in law said. What have you to say? I had nothing. We all heard him. I said I had nothing, Asoka. My brothers, what do you expect Amos to say? His daughter, who went to the stream since yesterday, has not returned. And now you want another of his daughters sent to the same stream. Imagine the insult. How can Alfred look at me from head to toe? and come to my house and insult me in this manner. We all should be considerate in this matter. I think it is the love Alfred has for this family that he now wants to marry Jennifer. It's your own daughters that that one will marry, not mine. Amos, let me tell you, nobody has ever succeeded in wedding up spirit by merely closing the door. Enough, Azuka. I say enough. I don't know why you are showing special interest in this matter. I agree to my husband. You are welcome, my wife. Please, I have something to say. Yes, woman. What have you to say? I want to say that this matter should not cause any quarrel at all. Eh? I also want to appeal to you, my husband, to allow our in-law, Fred, to marry Jenny. What? Yeah. So you are a party to this plan of abomination, eh? It will not happen in this compound. Not while I'm still alive. The gods of our land, Kamano, Alumeruchi, and the Meru, will not allow this abomination to be visited on my family. My husband, this is not a matter for Kamano and the Nemiri. Jenny is already pregnant for after. To be a Oh, 
Uncle, mm -hmm. Papa, we are going. Go well, my daughter. Thank you. Papa. Papa. Don't worry yourself. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and marry to you have my support. Isn't it? Mama, thank you. Thank you very much. But the two of you must live in peace. Okay. Hmm? Yes, the way Richard yes, and Fred live yes, in peace. Yes, you know? Yes, ma'am. Don't worry about your father. Don't worry about him. Thank you. You know he's like that. Thank you. you will change. Mama, thank you. Thank you, Mama. I'm going to leave now, eh? I'm going to leave now. I'll send a message. Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye. Agnes! Agnes! Huh? Oh? Agnes. So you conspired? You, Agnes! You conspired with your in-law, Alfred, to come to my house and humiliate me because of my own daughter. But Jenny is my daughter too. And so, does that give you the right to give her out in marriage to anybody you like without the consent of the man who owns this compound? Hey, hey. Mind your business, Vicky. Are you hearing me? I know you're not happy that my daughter is getting married. Because you own... can say anything you like, Agnes. All I want you to understand is that there is a limit to decisions. A woman married to a man can take. Agnes, I give you till 12 o'clock tomorrow to pack all your belongings out of my house. Go and live with Alfred. As for Jennifer, she ceased to be my daughter. The very day she got herself impregnated by that murderer. Called Alfred a woman. Shameless people. Amos. Amos. You have started. Of course, Mary. Anyway, you have just said your own. I am not moving an inch away from this house. Eh? Come and move me. Are you daring me? Okay. You wait. You wait for me. Hey, I am coming. Take it easy, huh? Take it easy, huh? Take it easy, eh, Moss? Put them down there. Is there more?
Alumerechi, you are the supreme deity of our land. Protector of your children. When the skin of an animal itches, it rubs its back against a tree. But that of a human being is usually scratched by a fellow human being. That is how it is from time immemorial. Of Barokala. When the hand touches the calabash hanger, the calabashes get agitated and let out the devil bang. Defender of the oppressed, come and fight for your children. Your son, Amos, is agitated. He feels oppressed and humiliated. Here is case. Nekelengi, Alumerechi. Alfred Eluwa, my former in-law, is a leper. I offered him a handshake yesterday. But today, he wants an embrace. May Alumerechi turn his joy into sadness. Alfred Eluwa is a bird. I permitted him to fly over my head. But now, he wants to perch and build his nest on top of my head. May he hit his toe against the stone. This is your fight, Alumerechi. I am sending you to go and redress this humiliation and abomination for me. Let me start you, Fulu Alfred Eluwe. Others may humiliate you as well. Whoever is going to kill me will be killed first. Of course. A child who says that his mother will not sleep shall know no peace himself. Oh, my God. 
charity, charity. Wait, Sisuko. Now, wait, see. Eh? I don't tell you anywhere about the men who come near me. You know the year was. I'll be there swear for you. Eh? Sure. Now, love now. I don't need love. <laughs> charity. That you say that your girl. He married that in dead wife's sister, Batu. Mm -hmm. Bebo, Ramebo. What thing can be your own inside now? Which one concern you, eh? Now so you go to pop most for what thing no concern you, eh, Suku? Eh? Busy body. Now, what for that your girl? That can shake you enough to have for a place here. Eh, make a yaw. If it happen, what thing you go do, eh? What thing you go feed do? Better people waiting for this world, never do anything. It can't be. Like hey, 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 don't do for you. Don't do for you. Shut the wrong man like that, right? I beg, make a year word. Shut the big face like that. No, but you will do like I was someone in chop money, don't finish. What do you want to blame me? I beg, come clear, clear. Come on, Jare. Come on, Jare. Don't blame me. Not because I come on my head. Clear, clear. I say clear, clear, clear. Suku, take time, mo. Suku, take time, mo. I say clear, clear, clear. I don't, I don't blame you. Clear, go. Now what time I come say? Go, clear. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Clear. If you don't say if you clear, you never see. You never see anything. You never see me. Hey! Just try me outside. Man, Yazoo. I have Yazoo. What's wrong? Huh? You look this strong. I've been waiting for my job as the finance director of the company. Why? What happened? We received a check of 12.8 million from a parastatal. Mm -hmm. I collected the check. Mm -hmm. Kept it in my drawer, locked it, and mm -hmm. left the office. Mm -hmm. So when I got to the office this morning, there was no evidence that the door had been tampered with. I opened it, walked into the office. Everything was in place exactly as I left the office. The check was gone. So, what happened? What pains me most is that the chairman of the company believes it deliberately to defraud the company. A company I had worked under all these years. God. It's okay, darling. It's all right. having a wonderful, exciting time. Of course, I've been having a very exciting day indeed. Shop <sighs> is enormous fun, you know. There's nothing I enjoy doing better than polishing furniture and cooking all day. Jenny! Oh, as for looking after our kids. You have no idea how madly interested it is feeding him, dressing him, and making him happy. Jenny, what's going on you these days? You were never like this. I'm bored. There ought to be more to my life than this never-ending succession of household chores and baby-minding. 
We have only one child and you're already complaining. I thought you liked it here. But it, 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 it's too early in the day for you to feel like this, Jenny. I'm sorry. I was in a foul mood. I will probably feel better after a short while. I think you can use some drink. Go get yourself some brandy. Come on. Like hell, I need some brandy. As if your glass of it will put everything right for me. For us. I would like you to make such a suggestion. I think I need a job. Why? Just because I'm out of job does not mean you need a job. Besides, uh, getting a job is not very easy, you know. I'll talk to some of my friends. They could help me secure a job. I don't like the idea. I will not remain jobless forever. I know. Well, the chips are down now, and you... Come to think of it, if I get a job, it will enable me to support the family until you get another job. Hmm? What becomes of our child, Precious? Charity will take care of him until I return. Hmm? I still don't like the idea. Husband. Oh, your husband. I especially know that he is without the job. You can't I'm beginning to feel suffocated. Everything about Fred and marriage has become boring. Are you telling me? Only yesterday I was discussing with Angela. Let's face it, Jenny. We believe you shouldn't have married your sister's husband. It wasn't the best thing to do. Leave me. But there were other considerations. Huh? Now that you feel suffocated and bored, may I suggest a little adventure for you then? It depends on the type of adventure. Jenny, you are a very lucky girl, you know. How do you mean? You've just condemned my marriage or the idea. So how can you still consider me lucky? You see, you are still very young, pretty and attractive. In spite of childbirth and hassles of marriage, you are still full of life. What are you driving at? Just come out straight. You shouldn't be a slave. In the name of marriage, marriage of convenience for that matter. You've been married to an old man without a job for so many years. But what can I do, UK? I mean, what can I do? Huh? You have to be connected. We used to be the famous three, remember? You, Angela, and I. Sunshine must return into your life, Jenny. There is a lot of action out there. You know, Jenny. Oh, Jenny. Do you want a piece of it? If it will not be boring. Why not? That's my beautiful old Jenny. Me. Oh, I see. Hope you brought lots of goodies for the girls. Oh, I trust. Yeah, 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 I trust. 
Um, Matt, I'm sending a very special friend to you. I want you to take very good care of her. Okay? <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, hello. Okay, bye. You can tell us me you're a very special person. And may I add that you are also very conscious. Thank you. How different my life would have been if I had married someone as lively and dashing as this. Instead of that, Dull, plodding, old man. Since 11 o'clock. Where have you been? Fred, I'm sorry. Please, don't be annoyed. I've got a job offer. Meet my friend, UK. Please sit down. Um. Um, yes, sir. My husband, Mark, is an airline executive. I talked to him about Jenny, and they have now agreed to give her a job. As what? As an air hostess in one of their local flights, Lagos to Kaduna, back to Lagos. And we shall be flying only three times every week. And when they are not flying, she will spend the time here at home. The job will be good for her. Nothing stressful. I see. <clears throat> Excuse me. How is she coming with our schoolwork? Fine. Well, we thank God. Yeah. I, I received that message, but I I went to the countryside. I was I was not in town. That was why I did not respond as fast as you would have wanted me to. But 
I hope you didn't spoil anything. Okay. Uh, no, 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 it's all right. Uh, Chi, there is something I want to discuss with you. You see, back here, business is not very good, and I think I would like to start something else. Uh, could you help me raise 5,000 pounds? Please. Uh, uh, please hold on. Charity. Charity. Yeah. Please see who is at the door. Yes, 5,000 pounds. I see. All right, can I speak with Kelechi? Huh? She's not available. All right. When she comes back, please tell her I called her. It's all right. Some other time. Goodbye now. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Yes, good morning. I am from Tapano Yoru, Barristers and Solicitors. Our client is Dr. Dauda. Your landlord has also to tell you this letter. What is it? Jenny, what if somebody finds out about us? I don't care who finds out. All I care now is my happiness. I know, I know. But what if your husband gets to know about you and I? He may divorce you or try to hurt you. I don't care. Look, Matt. You don't know how often it is being saddled with a jobless, boring old man. I understand. Anyway, if it tries to hurt you, divorce him. things of life and every day Jenny every day you will be beautiful and oh man oh man I love you I love you I love you I love you
Bal. With this new development, I'll suggest we meet my boss, Matt. He could give us a loan. Hmm? Are you sure he can help? Yes, I've mentioned it to him. We can rent a smaller place, a flat this time. And um, we'll use the money we realize from the sales of our property to start a new business. Hmm? Here's a check for 400,000 naira that you asked for. I hope you'll be able to pay back as soon as possible. Go ahead and take it. God bless you, sir. Exactly. Thank you, friend. Jenny, it's all right. These are little things I do for less privileged people in society. <laughs> What is all this? Can't I touch you anymore? For the past two months since you started this job, each time I want to touch you, you tell me that you are tired, I should go back to sleep. For God's sake, what's going on here? Leave me alone. Listen to me, Jenny, you're my wife. Why do you keep keeping away from me? For God's sake, what's going on here? What do you think is going on? You dirty my dead man. Instead of you to think about your life, which is already a shambles, all you do is to disturb me in bed. Well, if you can't allow me to sleep peacefully here, I might as well sleep in the city room. Your suspicions are confirmed. Your wife is having an affair with you. That is why she will not allow you to touch her. What can I do about it? What do you want to do about her? I want her to love me like a wife. I want her to love me like she's never loved anybody before. I don't want her to look at any other man. Mm -hmm. You will bring for me some of our pubic hair and some cow dung. I will prepare a concussion which you will mix in her food. Once she eats that food, any other man except you will be like cow dung to her. I've heard you.
shake me. Sorry. You are sorry, indeed. My parents must hear about this. Oh, my God. Auntie, what is it? Nothing is wrong. Go back to your room and sleep. There's nothing wrong. Go and sleep. Their story. Before you came today, our daughter Jennifer had told us everything. Fred, the death of our daughter Rachel has been a mystery to most of us. He killed Rachel. This is that you can't kill Rachel. Mama, me? Of course you. It is no longer a secret to us that you killed Rachel. The same way you wanted to kill the sister, Jennifer, here. Me. me. Alfred. Alfred! You sent Jennifer, who agreed to marry him out of pity. <laughs> you don't want to kill him, Alfred! So you can become rich again, Abby! In-laws, I have only one thing to say. God is my witness. Fred. Fred. The decision of this family, I repeat, the decision of this family is that as from today, you have ceased to be the husband of Jennifer. Yes. And any further attempt to hurt our daughter in any manner at all will result in your own death. Inugo. Me can't walk and find this my compound again. My boy now walk up on a bobam me. You know no one. You know no one. You know no way. Nonsense from you. Listen, Max. You don't have to pretend. You two are having an affair, and I hear everything. She's a cheap, sleazy slut who has caught your attention, isn't it? Now shut up. Shut up. I don't know what you're talking about. Listen to me. Whoever has been fabricating stories about me only wants to destroy our marriage. See? Can't you understand the want to destroy our marriage? You're a dirty, miserable liar. That's what you are. Take your beauty hands off me. Are you talking to me? Ah! I don't believe all this. But Fred, you should have called me in Germany to intimate me. Gabe, I was waiting for you to return. I didn't know you were going to spend such a long time in Germany, honestly. So you mean Jennifer has left you? She has. Even abandoned the innocent child for you? What a heartless thing for a woman to do. The most painful part of it was the attitude of her mother. Can you believe, Gib, that after all I did for this woman, she still insists that I killed Rachel? Gib, can you believe that? By the way, I hope you still remember that the house they are living in, I built that house for them. Of course, we all know that. 
Yes, yes, yes. What is it? Excuse me, sir. Precious is crying, and I think he's hungry, sir. Then go and find him something to eat. Go on. There's nothing left in the house, sir. Here. Go and buy something for the kid. Take the money. Take the money. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. That's okay. I don't know how to thank you for this. That's okay, Fred. That's all right. So, Kate came to your house to warn you. I don't blame her. I'm sure it was Fred that told her everything about us. What a minute. Are you saying Fred knows about the two of us? As soon as we came back from the village, he told me that he would expose and deal with you. That was the day I was packing out to UK house. Baba, 
This woman has completely charmed my husband. She wants to take my husband away from me. Baba, you have to do something. Do something to... To stop your husband from running after other women? Or to stop other women from running after your husband? Yes, Baba. Uh, to stop my husband from running after other women? Uh, yes. Mm. What does your husband do? Mm. He's a director in one airline company. Mm. Mm -hmm. Baba. Baba. Baba, is anything the matter? What's for me? Look, officer, bring him here. Don't waste time with him. It's all right, it's okay. Don't touch me. Who is Rachel? Is 
she did Understand what? I beg you. Talk to see you. Oh, yeah. Then go. Mr. Koi here, the sum of 400,000 naira. That is true. Yes, and at the same time, threatening to deal with him. Why? That is not true. Mr. Koi lent me 400,000 naira when I needed the money most. Mm -hmm. To threaten to deal with him will be tantamount to ingratitude, so that is not true. Mr. Koi is a very good man. He has asked me to release you. Give us some time to see if you can get this money. Thank you. That is very thoughtful and considerate of you. Thank you. You may go with me. Well, sir. Thank you very, very much. Oh, I'll come again to see you. Anytime, anytime. Huh? You are most welcome. Get out! Where is my son? He's sleeping, sir. Do you remember my niece, the one that stays at Dokomu? Auntie Rebecca. Yes. Yes, sir. I want you to take precious to both of you will be staying with her and she will be taking care of you until I come to see her. Thank you, sir. God take care of you. 
precious, my son. Goodbye, Kelechi. I'm looking for my wife. She just walked into this house. Who is your wife? Kate. Her name is Kate. And I wonder what she is doing here. <laughs> Katie! <laughs> Katie! <laughs> yes. What the hell are you doing here? And who is this man? Hold on, young man. I have been taking very good care of the wife for two days now. And I tell you, she is such a sweet woman. <laughs> now, go to the aunt, you sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. You can go with your wife. Don't be a fool, young man. If you do anything stupid here, yeah. Or ever after. I will not only take your wife, okay, but your wife. Me, you! Me, you! Hey, 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 Hmm? Takoga, Botono. Hmm. Mumma. 
sent for you because uh, I have a message from your sister Chinella. Yes, yes. Uh... <laughs> she said I should give you this document. She is sending to you some computer accessories uh, worth 5,000 pounds. These are the documents for the cargo. And uh, she asked me to give you this 10,000 pounds too. That's for you. Who will take care of him, Jenny? Please. Fred, I'm leaving. And nothing will make me change my mind. I've had enough. Jenny. Jenny, please wait. Listen, 
Jenny, please. Look, Jenny, you can't do this to me. After all the time we've had together, look at precious Jenny. You can't leave us. You brought a spark into my life. Would you like to extinguish that spark, Jenny? Please, can you do that? Fred, don't try to stop me. I don't love you anymore. In fact, it was all a mistake. forgiveness you've got to ask is precious. Because when he grows up, he will want to know why you abandoned him at such a tender age. As for me, Jennifer, I'll never marry again. Never. Ever.
open your mouth. Some of them are wicked, like others. 